inside, get set up, and then I'll see you in there. So I'm here with Chris Creaseman. He is a uh, local tattoo artist and painter. How you doing today, Chris? Huh? Keep playing, man. Uh, all right, so we're just gonna start off with a, a little bit of background knowledge. Um, so where are you originally from? Um, I'm right here in Salem, man. Grew up on Bradshaw. Oh yeah. And uh, how old are you? I'm 26. 26, sir. So what was your first art meeting? Like, what did you start with? Just like pencil and paper? Yeah, just the basic stuff, sitting there as a kid. And I figured out the first time I could draw when I was about five, six years old, and I realized I could copy a little doodle that was on one of my tests in kindergarten, and never drew another paper that looked similar. So, okay, yeah, so just number two pencil, man. And uh, you said, so how long ago was that? You said 21 years ago. 21 years ago, yeah, so that's a long time to be creating. I have to crayon doodles, but yeah, right. So, what's your favorite art medium now? Uh, all the way canvas and acrylic, man. Acrylic, man. And what kind of text? Liquid sex paints. All day long. And also, well, now we've been trying out the golden, so yeah. the golden may be a future adventure, but definitely liquid sex is just as a pretty staple. And so you're a tattoo artist for a living. How long have you been doing that now? Uh, I've been here at Iron Art for about three years, I'd say, but I've been, I've been pushing towards this goal for about the last eight. All right. And so I assume you kind of started out doing your friends at home like that uh, started out with willing minds yes. willing minds yeah. willing minds we'll just say that and uh, so I noticed you paint a lot of uh, space scenes um, can you tell me about that like where does that come from <laughs> to be honest with you I have no clue for the most part besides I've always had a huge love for space ever since I was a kid with telescopes and such like that and would always check out books on them but then also one of my biggest inspiration as a painter. I mean, when it comes to, I guess, who I would idolize, Salvador Dali was one of my biggest idols growing up and still is. So I like to paint with a sense of surrealism and I guess my space is his desert. So I guess yeah, I can see that. The Salvador Dali is space. We're, we're intertwined. So uh, are there other things you like to paint? Like, uh, God, I mean, really just whatever pops in my mind for inspiration at that time. But I mean, when it comes to mythology, I've, like I said, I did Aphrodite a while back and I'm working now on a Roman mythology one. So when it comes to mythology, that's another big inspiration for me. And that's, and also whatever's happening here, but eh, there's still space. So. There's space. So is there, is there like anything you've noticed that like really inspires you? Like, like going to a certain place or like seeing somebody do a certain thing like I don't know it's just honestly the most random things can give me for inspiration so it's I can just be sitting there watching a movie and all of a sudden I see something and I'm like oh my god I need to go paint so it just depends man to be honest with you I mean of course space yeah it's one of the big ones laying under the stars and like that. for me personally it's always like if I go somewhere where there's like a lot of art. Oh, well, that's a given. That's a given. You go to an art museum or like an actual art show or something. Yeah, especially like seeing graffiti, like going like to a big city and seeing like the graffiti everywhere. I don't know, something about that. Like I always go home and draw after that. Yeah, I completely understand. I mean, going to art museums and stuff like that and actually being able to see some of the Renaissance paintings and stuff like that. Yeah, that's definitely whenever I see that, it makes me immediately want to go home and just, yeah, have a ball. Yeah. And uh, so if you're not painting or tattooing or making art, what, what are other things you enjoy? Oh God, um, anything that crosses my mind, 3D printing, um, God, woodworking, a lot of woodworking. Um, really other than that, maybe playing some video games, just, you know, just relaxing. They can walk or hike. Oh, now hiking, that's also been an inspiration, inspiration here lately. We've seen some of the waterfalls and all that and showed its face in one of my new paintings coming up, so. Okay, cool. Uh, so you were talking about 3D printing. I understand you have a uh, degree in 
uh, drafting and design. Yeah, I have associates, yeah, drafting design from ITT before they went bankrupt. Um, but yeah, and I just took a lot of classes of that in high school, so I've been using Photoshop and 3D modeling software yeah, for years. So I've been able to, I've been hoping to try to go through and get into the tattoo supply industry by using that as my rapid prototyping. So and there's already been a few ideas we've all already kind of went through and um, have tested some. So hopefully if we can get that into the next step of going closer to a full product and then possibly get that into a production thing would be really, be really awesome. That sounds awesome. So uh, out of all your stages of your career and going through like the different, the different jobs and stuff like that, would you say that everything has kind of intertwined back to each other like far as like your knowledge that you've learned like like has the drafting like helped you tattoo wise or painting wise definitely drafting drafting was a big one that did because of perspective i try to use a lot of perspective in my paintings and stuff like that so that's definitely helped a lot um other jobs i mean nothing right off the top of my head just really that one and it's the other jobs have helped analytically when it comes to going like scheduling or budgeting and stuff like that and when getting supplies when we have mandatorial positions so that helped a lot with that for this industry but um no definitely for helping the art that all the way was yeah the drafting would be one of the ones that helped me sharpen up some things okay and uh for upcoming artists like whether they're trying to get into the tattoo scene or just you know trying to get that or this painter is there any kind of advice that you would give them or maybe some things they should try that you've learned not to do from experience really just diligence stay humble uh, that's a big one never let your ego get bigger than you are um, never be afraid to accept advice from anyone and never be afraid to give advice to never hold within that knowledge that knowledge is a really that can be a key to someone else's success. Um, really, other than that, repetition, man. When it comes to painting, tattooing, anything, if you love doing a certain thing, just keep doing it over and over again, and it's only going to get better. You're as long as you keep progressing, then it's good. Because you can even see from my spacing, from the first one I did to that one to this one, I finally got a different grasp on how things should flow. And it got smoother and smoother as it went. So it's the same thing with tattooing to me, and I think it's the same thing with art in general. And uh, two more questions. What would you say has been the highlight of your career so far? Like that has like been the turning point for like your future. And what would you say is probably the worst thing that has happened in that time? Like that really discouraged you. Um. The highlight, definitely getting my full on licensing and stuff like that, and then doing some guest spotting and stuff like that. That definitely it brought something just new to my eyes and has brought up a lot of different business ventures and stuff like that. Um, the worst, the worst I think for me was really just going through the other jobs, just wondering when I was going to finally get my chance to be a big a part of this and really. That was the most discouraging thing, was just really just trying to take diligence. Like I said, it took me five years to finally get to where I wanted to be. So it took five years of continuing pushing and pushing and pushing and never stopping. So, and I, some people it takes longer, some people it takes shorter. It just really depends on your specific situation and really luck. I think any artist can relate to that, like whether or not you're a, a, a tattoo artist, a painter, write poetry like just doing the grind and trying to do what you love at the same time I think that's the hardest part but uh, my advice would be just to dig in you know keep doing your thing and you know just keep putting your name out there even if it means doing free artwork or whatever just get the don't exposure. be afraid to be different yeah. like I said don't don't be worried about what someone else is going to think of your painting if you love it you love the concept just do it just, just do it yeah. yeah just do it not so much with tattoos if you're trying to go into tattoos you can't do that can't just do it um, on people's skin. Sometimes they'll let you, but um, met with painting, just keep going because you'll never realize that there's someone out there in the world that has been waiting to see 
exactly what's in your mind. So. All right, so I think that's all the questions I have for you. Is there any personal like thanks or shout outs you'd like to give to anybody that you know has helped you along the way or just been really supportive or? Well, my whole family, for the most part, they've been they've been supportive. Um, Iron Revolution, of course. I mean, place we work. Yes. Yeah, and it's been our start for both of us. But um, Ray Lloyd, I mean, if it wasn't for him. Yeah, definitely I reach out to Ray. I wouldn't be here, yeah. He's been our, our sensei, per se. And um, we've all been a part in this shop and helping grow into what a big, beautiful thing it is. So, yeah, the camaraderie, man. The camaraderie between all of us has really been one of the biggest things. It's a great thing. Um, other than that, all my friends, yeah, they've always been really good pushing me or allowing to be a willing mind. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no. Other than that, I mean, thanks to my clients. You are all absolutely amazing people, and I always enjoy when you all come in, especially the ones who bring the really amazing pieces or the really memorial ones and the really fun ones. Just thank you all. Really, without you, neither of us be sitting here. And being able to do what we do, we love for a living. We've been we spent so much time doing shit we hate it, or just didn't necessarily hate, but just there's no passion. And no now passion. finally we get to experience our passion every day of our life. And I hope every one of you all who are watching this get to experience that feeling. I really do. But, well, Chris, man, I appreciate you coming on. Appreciate it, buddy. Yeah, man, and. Uh, for any of y'all want tattoos, come down to Ironheart Evolution at 1539 Apperson.